Hey Taurus, welcome in. Um, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. So I have some messages for you. Let's see what your message is today. Okay, Taurus. Um, let's see what you need to hear and know. Let's get a theme card. Then I'm going to pull a few tarot cards. Okay, what's going on here for Taurus spirit? Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Taurus. What do they need to hear and know at this time? Okay, so we have lonely, feeling left out, abandonment issues, feeling unwanted and misunderstood. And bottom of the deck, we got lined up, casual dating, keeping options open, multiple love interests, and non-committal. So Taurus, if, you know, this could be flipped. So flip the roles here. This could be you or this could be someone else. But somebody here feels um, that you left them out in the cold or you feel left out in the cold by someone. Um, if you guys are dating, I would just be careful about what you're attracting because if you're in this energy right now feeling lonely and by yourself, you're going to attract people. I mean, anybody that you attract, they're going to teach you lessons. You know what I'm saying? But who wants to keep going through the same thing, right? So I would just, um, honestly, I feel like you should just take the time to yourself to really um, sit in solitude and do some healing work. If this is you feeling lonely or you consistently are feeling abandoned by other people, I would I would say really just take the time for yourself. Um, you know, instead of dating, but, you know, people are, that's, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that, but that's just my advice, you know. Um, speaking from experience, I took a lot of time to myself, so, and it worked for me. But everybody's different. You know, these people could be triggering your abandonment wounds, your abandonment issues. Um, but this could be somebody else's source. If you don't feel like that, then you know that there's somebody else in your energy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What is this here for Taurus? What is this about for Taurus? Yeah, four swords and the justice here. Libra. We got Libra, Jupiter. So strong Libra here, Venusian energy. So yeah, this could be about love here. Okay, so the four swords, yes, it's resting, it's solitude, it's um, trying to find a peace of mind here. If you guys are into that or into what I'm getting ready to say, um, there you guys should set you up a, a nice altar here at your in your home, okay, and um, pray at your altar or whatever you do at your altar. I mean, you could talk to you know your your guides, your ancestors. Um, if you pray to certain deities and things like that, they can help as well. Okay, God, the gods and goddesses, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Um, some of you guys need to go on a vacation here. I just feel like maybe you could possibly need some rest. But um, yeah, the four of swords is like peace. I mean, it could talk about stress and anxiety. And somebody could be stressing or having anxiety because things are working out in your favor here. Things are balancing. Karma is playing out. And you could still be healing. You know, you could still be healing or you are healing. Okay, yeah, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, you could be throwing yourself into your projects, okay, which is good. I mean, transmuting some of this energy and putting it into your craft is definitely a good thing as well. That's what put me on my journey, so... You know, this is something that you could possibly be doing or needing to do. Um, you could definitely have new lovers coming in. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay? But these are people that are going to teach you about yourself and the things that you need to do. So, I would, I, you know, I would do whatever your heart and your intuition is telling you to do. I mean, I know, for example, like, I've kind of, like, been called to date certain people, you know, in the past and do certain things. And they never worked out. But I, I get the lesson from it, okay? That was a part of my shadow work and the things that they taught me. I learned from it and I grew from it. And now I'm in a twin flame union. Not everybody has twins, but I was meant for a twin. So, you know, it's something like that that's going on here. You know, lessons are being learned. What else, spirit? Give me another one. A Taurus. So I feel like this could be you, yeah, the devil. This could be you being being honest with yourself or needing to be honest with yourself here about how you're feeling is what I'm hearing. Or, you know, I feel like you're kind of like thinking about certain things or this is on somebody else. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or strong Libra. 
Okay, yeah, with the devil coming out, there's some sort of like obsession or addictions or something. What's the devil? The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. These are um, generational curses here, Taurus. Something that has to be broken off of you here in order for you to, you know, if you want a successful relationship, get married, have children, okay? If you want to be prosperous here within a family dynamic or just prosperous, period, some things have to be put to rest, okay? Um, somebody could be very materialistic here. That could be an issue, too. Somebody could already, too, be in some sort of, like, contract where they're already married and it's toxic. Okay, somebody has to break free of whatever this is. Someone here could have eloped. You guys could be seeing 444. Nine nineteen. I just heard nine eight nine, nine eighty nine. You guys could be seeing those synchronicities. Something about spaghetti could be significant too. Some of you guys are eating spaghetti or you're making spaghetti today. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil, there's definitely like a generational curse here that needs to be broken. Okay, what's the justice? The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, <laughs> this is karma like playing out here. Gemini energy, we got Sagittarius moon. So there there was like a betrayal here, Taurus. Okay, there's a betrayal here that I feel like you fought through. Nine of Wands is like you're the wounded warrior. Okay, you are resilient. You are strong. You are... You don't give up on yourself. Okay, so... I feel like, I feel like you are surviving something or you have survived something here. Some sort of like attack or abuse here for some of you. Or this could be some sort of like curse. Yeah, like I said, you guys would be seeing 1010 as well. And some sort of curse or hex here. Things are balancing out in your favor. So whoever this is could feel lonely. Feel like you fought back, you stood up for yourself. Something here has definitely been like an ongoing battle. Or you're going through this now. But I feel like as you move forward, you'll you'll heal. Okay, yeah, the sun and the moon and the knight of wands in the middle. <laughs> wow. What's the four of swords? Okay. Will of fortune in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's getting bad karma. Things are not turning out in someone's favor. Somebody here really screwed up their destiny. I feel like somebody here, for some of you, I don't know. Somebody's getting their ass beat by karma. Yeah, three of swords, seven of swords. Somebody's getting their ass beat by karma. And the only thing that they really can do right now is lay low and, like, get their shit together. Whoever this is, they are not too happy about the outcome of whatever this is that they did. Whatever they did to you here, they're not really liking the, the blowback from it. So give me a card here for Taurus. Somebody's karma actually could be... I don't like saying that, though. <laughs> Somebody could need to be hospitalized for something. I'm getting. I'm hearing something about a mental institution. Somebody could have a mental disorder. Or somebody could be going to spiritual jail. Somebody just screwed their destiny up. They signed a contract here with the devil. They're in something that they shouldn't be in. And it's just like... Yeah, with a gold digger. Give me a card here for Taurus. All right, so it says, Mother Nature is calling to you to connect with her for grounding, healing, and centering. Seek out a scenic space outdoors and find gratitude for all living things. Touch, see, and feel all of the elements. Okay, give me another one here for Taurus. And then we got, don't take life so seriously. Those guards and walls you've built around your heart will only prevent you from enjoying life to the fullest. Let your hair down and go have some fun. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, look. And then it says, find a sacred place in your home or anywhere you feel drawn to. Dedicate this space to finding comfort, safety, and prayer. Exactly what I just said about an altar in the beginning. Make this spot your altar and safe haven when times get tough or simply as a daily connection. Yeah, so some of y'all need to get out in nature and... Get you a nice altar here for your home. Okay. To connect with your guys and your ancestors in them. But 
this was your reading Taurus. I hope it resonated for you. Thank you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.